Welcome back, guys, to my Let's Play Clock Tower, where we left off. We're playing as, of course, Jennifer. We're at the third intermission. She's wondering how Nolan's doing. Um, so before we interact everything, this is plays out kind of like Helen's, where we tell something, everybody wants to join us. So let's go check out Nolan first. Nolan, are you all right? Yes, Sister Man was after me. What? It hasn't made the news yet, but Rick was killed. Nolan just got through being questioned by Inspector... Gotts. Yes, he was almost convinced that I was the... murderer. Oh, yes, we gotta talk to Nolan. We don't click on Jennifer, we don't click on Tim, we click on Nolan. Not Nolan's but either... But his, his chest. We're just gonna poke him in the stomach. I'm so sorry, Nolan. You were in danger because of me. Everything is okay now, so don't worry. Here, this is the statue, isn't it? It was in Rick's home. Thank you. Also, I discovered the location of the castle. The... Barrow's castle. Maybe there is a connection. The Barrow's family castle. I think the castle is in England. Do you want to go? Yes, maybe we can discover something about... Scissorman. We must find some kind of clue. Maybe that's where Scissorman was born. Scissorman's birthplace. In any case, it may be safer there. He wouldn't follow us to England. Alright then. I'll tell everyone. Right. Alta Goths too, otherwise, otherwise he will really think I'm a murderer. Eh, I doubt it. Okay, so, with all that said and done, let's go check out Rick's place. Rick's house. Okay, let's check the police station. I wonder if this inspector is in. Hi, Jennifer. I heard Scissorman's back. The media's gonna, gonna to jump all over it again. This is indeed an interesting case. I would love to see the Scissorman. Hmm. Inspector Gods, I am going to England. It's Assistant Inspector. Are you going there to study? No, not really. There is a castle in England called the Barrow's Castle. If I go there, maybe I'll be able to learn something about Scissor Man. The Barrows Castle. So that is where the Barrows used to live before they immigrated to Norway. I think so. That sounds rather interesting. I will accompany you as well. Hold on a sec, Pro Professor. What about the case? You too, Jennifer. You are an important witness in the case. You can't just trust peas off like that. Then come with us. Huh? There must be some reason as to why the murderer disguises himself as Scissor Man. We might learn why by investigating the Barrows. History. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, Professor. I'll go, but what am I going to say to my boss? No need to worry. You will be a hero if this case is solved. As long as I ain't made a goat. <laughs> yes, Gots, as long as he finds something, he's not going to be made into a goat. Anywho, so we got two people joining us. And I guess Nolan. Anywho, let's go to the hotel, because once again, we're talking to everybody. I think I should tell Edward and Kay. Oh, Jennifer. Well, hello, Jennifer. I think we are getting close to discovering the secret to Scissor Man. The secret to Scissor Man? Yes, there is a castle in England called the 
Barrow's castle. And the Barrows used to live there. I see. So that's Scissorman's home. So Helen and I are going to England to investigate the castle. You are. Is that a good idea? Well, it may be dangerous, but I'll go with you, Jennifer. What? Edward, don't be ridiculous. But if we don't go some go do something, he'll probably kill us too. Haha, <laughs> funny story. Hmm. May I go with you, Jennifer? Okay, I'll tell Helen. Oh dear. I'm surprised Helen would have said no. You're too young. Stay here. All that fun stuff. We we actually know the reason why he's coming, anyways. So. Alright, let's check out the library. The library is closed today. Odd. Alright, let's check the research building. We know how this is going to end. Oh, Jennifer, I heard you're going to the Barrows. Castle in England. How do you know that? That guy, Nolan, told me. We decided we'd go with you too. You have? This is a good chance to see a castle. And it sounds like fun. Oh, you heard Beth, guys. This is the reason why she wants to go with us. Because to see a castle, and because it's fun. Right. I'm going to double click on this one. There's a reason. Because we get to talk to Danny and find out why he could not join us in either scenario. Hi, Jennifer. I heard you're off to England. Yes. I'll pass this time. Be careful. Yes, I will. Because he wants to pass. If you were with Helen's scenario, you find out he can't go because his passport has expired or something like that. Regardless, he is the smart cookie out of all these characters. Thus making him the only true survivor in this game. <laughs> Actually, the smart one to stay home. Uh, let's check the housing. There is no time to go home. But we're still going home. No one is here. Also, may I point out, it's the only, like, area that has its own music playing every time you go in. Um, so what do we need to do now? Well, we need to go back to the newspaper. Helen might be here. Jennifer, I heard from Nolan. Now we have a clue about Scissorman. Yes, but we don't know anything for sure yet. There are now ten people going to England. Some of them think this is going to be a picnic, of course. We'll leave on the first flight in the morning. I've already arranged for a rental car. I hope we can find a way to destroy him, Jennifer. Me too. So yes, it plays out like before, we're heading to England. Or Norway, whatever place, because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, to England. The sun is going down. It would be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. Strange. Where's Jennifer? Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no! Jennifer is missing too. They can't be missing. The castle, hurry! So yeah, everyone ran to the castle and separated, as usual. But it plays out differently in our last scenario. Let's see what happens. Don't be afraid, Jennifer. It's me, Harris. Harris? 
poor girl. Don't worry, I'll help you now. He told me. He told me that if I kidnap you, he will give you to me. He told me to dress up like Scissor Man and kill people. Jennifer? No, 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 don't come any closer. So you heard it, guys. Harris is a creepy ass stalker. Like, holy crap, that's just left field. Just, just happened out of the blue. So, how do we evade Scissor Man here? Well, we're gonna use this. Because Scissor Man is also weak against ropes. And that is that. So what do we do? Well, let's go back in here. Alright, so. What can we inspect? We can inspect the robes. Priest robes. The color is completely faded. <gasps> there is something in the pocket. You now have the stair key. Cool. Let's look around here. Anything here? We can check this statue. It looks like the Virgin Mary, but something is very wrong. How spooky. If you notice, the face is kind of like deformed. Just a subtle hint. Also, if you notice, the cosmic call the box. Blah. The box that you would use the key for the cosmopolitan is no longer, longer there. Very weird. Several strangely shaped instruments. I wonder what they are used for. Oh, who knows? Benio, let's get out of here. So what do we do? Well, we go in here next, because we're exploring. So, let's check out everything here. Many books are stacked up. Okay, what about this one? Large, thick books. Just looking at these give me, gives me a headache. Religious books from many different countries. Okay, what about this one? I don't like to read. Okay, Jennifer doesn't like to read, you guys. Also, Harris's body just magically disappeared. Well, let's climb this ladder here. What's this? A note is stuck between the books. It is written in a foreign language. Maybe Helen or Professor Barton can read it. You now have the foreign note. Now let's check up here. Only foreign books up here. Helen would love these books. So it doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Yeah. So let's get out of here. Now, if you recognize where we're at, we are in the same area as the church. So imagine there was Barton in this area, you, you know, kind of play that whole situation out on Helen's side. A chapel. It looks different from the ones I know. Oh, spooky. Alright, so let's see, because we know there's a door here, which we can't interact with at all. But we can check the pews. <laughs> Wooden pews. Wooden pews. Pew, 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 pew. Let's check out this lovely, lovely thing here. The fresco doesn't look right. No. Now let's check out this thing. This thing wasn't around in Helen's. This is, you know, a little weird. There's a copper plate on the wall. So Helen takes it, and there are stars drawn in it. You now have the star plate. So do these symbols look familiar, guys? We have seen these before. 
Um, I'll explain this in a second. Helen is gonna shove it in her dress, and we continue on. So let's go in here. Oh, that stench. Oh, and there's gots. Oh, oh, there's gots. Let's check everything else here first. Instruments of torture. The black stains must be blood. Uh, what's this on the floor? What is this white little thing here? A large candle is on the floor. You now have the candle. Okay, cool. Chains are hanging from the wall. Many people must have been hung in here. Anything else? We can check this machine. Instruments of torture. They look painful. Alright, let's talk to Gots here. See if he's alive or if he's dead. Jennifer, you're still alive. Inspector Gots! Thank heaven, you're all right. It's assistant, Inspector. Inspector Gotts? I'll go and look for the others. It's assistant, Inspector. Anyway, be careful. So yes, Gotts is still alive. Now I'm going to point this out. Um, in this scenario, it's unique compared to Helen's. Um, based on the time frame of when you meet up with certain characters, they'll either be living or dead. So, for example, Gots, we did something different that Gots is still alive. If we did something between the beginning of the scenario to this part, he would be dead. Um, let's talk to him again. The floor is bloodstained. Okay, we're just going to leave him there. So what are we supposed to do here? Um, there's this panel here. If we can look at it. A keyhole. Okay. So, we have the key, don't we? We have the stair key. Let's use it. A staircase. I wonder where it leads. Well, let's go up there and find out. Well, we'll see where we end up. Very interesting. This room isn't like any of the others. So, let's check out this place again. A luxurious fireplace inside his passage to the chapel. Alright, well, we know this picture frame is a no-go. We're not going to interact with it. The front is all scratched up. Let's check the couches. Color has completely faded. Let's check the pictures here. Try to avoid this one because you know who pops up. We don't want to deal with them right now. Purchase of a beautiful woman. Check out the table. Might as well check out this one here. There is something written. You now have discovered hint number nine. Awesome. Alright, let's check this out. Color is completely faded. What about this? An antique sideboard. Okay. What about the box? A cosmetic box. It looks very old. Okay, well, let's leave. Now, how will we attain the endings? Well, we're kind of on the right track for getting one particular ending. Just think about it. Think about it for a second here, guys. We have a candle. For our node. Oh, and we got this man. Oh no, he man. Oh no. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna evade him? Let's try and see if there's anything in here. We are playing this Jennifer, so she may have something special hidden here. So let's try here. Oh no, it's too low to hide under. Okay, fine. Do we just go for the bed sheets, or can we hide in here? Let's try in here. No. Tossing it out there. There's no fireplace here, guys. Interesting. Can 
he must have really had to use the washroom or something. That was incredibly fast for him. So let's go through here. Closet. Very old coats are hung inside. Okay, well, let's check the bed. That must be the master bedroom. The beds look luxurious. Luxurious, luxurious, whatever. Check this out. Oh, we got our little mouse. Of course. So let's go over here. I think that mouse ran in here. Ah, there is a small hole in the wall behind the table. So what do we get? A key. You now have the library key. So the key is still in the same place. Nothing scary special. Let's click on this here. My hair is a mess. So yeah, we now have the library key. Fantastic. So what else can we go? We can go back in here. Oh, I guess nothing here. Never mind. Usually you can find someone in here. But I guess he hasn't popped up yet. So we're now. We explored this room. We explored that room. This room... You know what? Let's explore this one. We... Helen entered this door back in the day. We're playing as Jennifer, so there's gotta be something different here. You think? That door. Maybe we can get out from there. Uh, you can try jumping it, Jennifer. Oh, let's see if she can. The door has caved in. Yep. No way out. Still the same. Okay, well let's check this out. It is still locked by a padlock, guys. Looks like the door to the chapter. Chapel. Ah, it won't even budge. Oh, my English is on a roll here, guys. We never looked at this picture either as Jennifer. So let's take a quick gander. We got some time. An oil painting. Bits of the paint has flaked off. So let's check out this, and then we'll enter this door here. I wonder when it was the last used. It's covered with dust. Interesting point out, because Helen said there was little handprints when she looked at it. Okay, so let's see what's new and exciting here. A sturdy wooden cabinet. It's empty. Portraits. All of them look alike. They seem to be portraits of the barrows. So let's check out this one here. Portraits are in a row. They seem to be glaring at me. Check out the table. Although I think the table brings out Scissor Man. Maybe we shouldn't. I don't feel like dealing with Scissor Man right now. A sofa. It's covered with dust. I wouldn't want to sit here. Well, let's check out the fire pit. What a big fireplace. Let's check out this here. Pot. Strangely, it isn't rusty. Ooh, interesting. So what can we do? We got candle and everything like that. Um, comes to exploring. We still need to find the map to get down below. We need to translate that naha -e spell. Uh, let's check everything in here. A fire drawer. Hair is scattered about. Oh no, I see the man. Oh no. The closet stuff full of clothes. I can't hide in there. Okay, well, let's check here. I can't fit underneath. Ah, oh, shoot. 
where can we hide, guys? Um, oh, never mind. It doesn't matter that way. Let's go this way. You know what we haven't used yet? Let's poke him. Let's, let's give him a good poking. I think we poked him good. Okay, so let's head back into that room. And let's go in here. Because we're still not done exploring here. Alright, let's check out this here. Oh, it's the hand. Oh, the hand's back with a vengeance. Oh, no. Alright, it's the same way. Gek. Ugh. Ark. Alright, let's check. Books. Yellow with age. There's nothing inside, so we did the hand thing for absolutely nothing. Closet stuff full of clothes. Let's check the bed. Last time we did with Helen, there was the book. Oh, and there's the book. Oh. There is a book on the bed. A large book. The cover is made of copper. You now have the copper book. Good. So we could technically run to the library if you really wanted to. You know what? Let's go do that. Let's run to the library. And you know what, before I do that, let's make a quick save here. Let's save under this one here. Okay, so let's head up here. I'm curious if this one key works here. Do we have the key to get to the library? I wonder. A grading. Oh, I guess we don't. Huh. We're missing something. We're missing that key. I forget how Helen found it. Um, but I guess that's been moved around the house as playing in Jennifer's scenario. So, we can check out this room here. This is where we found Beth in um, Jennifer's scenario. And she is nowhere to be found. It's too dark to see anything. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we can leave. Now, what else can we do here? There's not a whole lot in here. We know this door does not lead anywhere. Um, it doesn't do anything in this scenario either. It is still the door that leads. No. no. But yeah. Still doesn't do anything. So, what do we do? We can go in this door. I believe this is the kitchen, if I remember correct. Of course, we won't see Nolan here, because Nolan's dead. Dead, dead, dead. A kitchen counter. Okay, that's good. Let's check the pot. A huge stew pot. Something strange is inside. Well, I guess we can't find that strange thing. Must be a turkey. Expensive looking plates. 
they're smashed into pieces. It'd be dangerous to step on them. Alright, I did see a soup can here. I guess we can't interact with it. Anything else? No. Okay, let's go into this room here. And let's go around here. There's nothing inside. Some dried up goods. Some canned goods, swollen and disordered. Well, we know if we check here, we'll find the hidden path. The floorboards are loose. And then we click here and, you know, it opens up, of course. <gasps> There's something back there that looks like a switch. Okay, well, push it. Push it good. And let's head down here. So last time we were down here, who did we find? We, I believe we found Tim. I wonder if we're going to find anybody down here. Well, let's go around. Many bottles of wine. A wine barrel. Something smells sour. Okay, well, I guess we must have to leave and then maybe someone will pop up behind the wine rack. <gasps> Something just made a noise. Well, I guess we check back here. Oh, it's sitting there. Oh, spooky, 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 spooky. Oh, spooky. All the spooks. Where can we hide? Let's try the box. There's nothing inside. Well, I guess we evaded him. But let's go down there again. Many bottles of wine. Well, I guess we can... Oh! <gasps> A finger! It's wearing Beth's ring! Beth! Inside the barrel? A key is laying in a pool of blood. You now have the mansion key. Well, that's Beth. I hope Beth and Judah enjoyed our tour of the barrel's castle. You know? I hope she enjoys the wine. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A wine barrel. Something's supposed to sour. Well, I guess that's Beth for you guys. Beth got made into a nice, nice, um, 1995 red wine. Anywho, let's continue. So where to now? Let's head over here. We explored the kitchen all we can. We did get a key. We did get the stair key or one of the keys. But anyway, let's open this up here. It worked. All right. Well, let's go in here. Oh, but. It's no use. The metal fittings are completely rusted. Well, we have some oil can thing to do it, but we're not going to use it. We're going to completely ignore it. Because we can. Also because I'm trying to get the other endings first. <laughs> but because we can avoid it, we are going to avoid it. Ha 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 ha. Let's head to the library. So if you're wondering, where's the library? Whoa. We know what the library is. I was going to enter that one door, but we're going to ignore it for now. So, let's head to the library, which is right here. It worked. Okay, so. Let's go around, shall we? There's nothing inside. 
there are many books on the occult. And actually, before I continue, because I am way over time here, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying my Let's Play Clock Tower. As usual, do let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other Let's Plays as well. All that fun stuff. And with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next episode. Bye!